let me tell you about Nick. He's a senior at Marquette University who lives the entrepreneurial mindset. I met him last fall when he emailed my team to talk about his fourth term co-op experience with an automobile manufacturing company where he got great mentoring experience and got to see the business operations. The first time I met Nick was at a local coffee shop. He walked in, and he's about a foot taller than me, brown hair, brown eyes, and the most unassuming student I've ever met. He has this unique combination of humility and confidence. Like, he thinks he might have a cool story to share, but assumes everybody else has the same cool story to share. It's like he's nervous that the story he's about to tell me isn't all that amazing, but it is. Nick told me that when he was looking for a co-op, he wanted to make sure he got a variety of experiences and settings. So he accepted his co-op with the automobile, manufac automobile manufacturing company that would offer a rotational program. He would change projects and teams every three to four months with each new co-op term. As each term went on, he would meet with the co-op coordinator of the company and express his interest in working in business operations. When it looked like that wasn't gonna become a reality, Nick, Nick took matters into his own hands and made his goal come true. He reached out to the director of Component Solutions and asked him to lunch. Over lunch, Nick shared his story. And eventually, the director looked at him and said, well, what would you like to do with your fourth term? Nick politely looks at him and says, I'd like to work for you. Impressed by Nick, his story, and his initiative, the director found a way to hire Nick. I paused Nick here and I asked him, why did you want business experience? And how did you know you wanted it? Because most of our engineering students never think about the business side. So Nick told me that he grew up in an entrepreneurial family. He knew that he wanted to marry the engineering co-op experience with the business operations side because his grandfather used to own an automobile manufacturing company, own a snowmobile manufacturing company. And so his father and grandfather would head up to northern Wisconsin in the snowy winters, and they would push and drive snowmobiles for hours on end for the sole purpose of making them break down so they could haul them back to the shed, tear them apart, and figure out what went wrong. Nick knew that he wanted that entrepreneurial mindset in his co-op and he had gotten great mentorship from his family on the engineering side and wanted those two things. So as he started his fourth term, he was hired as a quality control engineer. The team he joined was a manufacturing team who was manufacturing a gear shift component for a line of luxury SUVs for one of the top automobile companies in the United States. They had been working on a manufacturing problem with this component for years, and they were falling farther and farther behind in production. You see that component is forwarded along to the next supplier in the production process, and that component continued to be returned because of defects. And despite his team working around the clock, they had no way to track the data or solve the problem. Nick saw all of this happening and continued to meet with his mentor, the director of component solutions who he'd taken to lunch. And his mentor suggested that Nick continue to meet with all of the vendors, that he follow the component along the production process for manufacturing through the next process at the next supplier and learn as much as about the entire process as possible. Isn't it awesome when we have a mentor in our back pocket? Somebody who that we can go to to ask questions from the naive to the complex. Someone who has our back and can provide suggestions for next steps. Taking his mentor's advice, Nick began um, intimately tracking each and every component along the process. He physically tracked and followed every single component, traveling by land via car and across Lake Michigan via ferry, traveling thousands of miles when all was said and done to track and meticulously map out where each component was in that process. During this time, the project manager was unexpectedly called away on, an, on a leave of absence. Who did they name as the interim project manager? Nick. Despite everyone else on the team having more years of experience than Nick, Nick knew more about that manufacturing process and the supply chain process than anyone else on the team, all thanks to Nick's mentor's advice. So Nick begins reviewing and analyzing where these defects are showing up in the process and realizes there is no consistent defect. 
meaning the issue isn't with his company. With this knowledge, Nick returns his team to manufacturing the component. His company rewrites the contract with the next supplier in the automobile company, and his team works around the clock in order to meet those production targets. I look at Nick and I say, holy cow, you realize this is amazing, right? Remember earlier how, how I said that Nick had this unique combination of humility and confidence? Nick shrugs his shoulders, has a shy smile, and says, it is pretty extraordinary, but it's definitely not repeatable. I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. No, Nick, this isn't about timing. This is about a mindset. Thanks to Nick's entrepreneurial mindset, he avoided a production shutdown at his company. He saved his company hundreds of thousands of dollars that would have been applied in fees if the automobile company couldn't meet production targets. And he saved his company and the automobile company hundreds of thousands of dollars in production loss. Definitely not timing. Definitely a mindset. How many of us would like to have a Nick or a Nina or a Nancy on our campus? I know that we would love to have 100 more Nicks at Marquette. Nick's mindset is a result of growing up in an entrepreneurial family where he had mentors and saw the business side, and that was reinforced in his classes. However, Nick might be right. His, his experience could be the extraordinary. After all, we won't all make hundreds of thousands, save hundreds of thousands of dollars as a result of our proactiveness. However, I believe Nick's story doesn't have to be the extraordinary. I believe it could be the ordinary. Two elements of Nick's story could be applied to all co-ops to ensure that all students have a similar experience, both at Marquette and perhaps on your campuses. The first is to encourage all employers to provide strong mentors to students, someone they can go to to ask questions from the naive to the complex. Second, employer, we can encourage employers to introduce students to the business operations of the company like Nick was exposed to, where they can learn and understand the value that their work is bringing to the company. Through conversations with students and employers, reviewing end of term evaluations, and going on site to see what companies are doing to help embed the entrepreneurial mindset, we're coming away with the best practices that companies can adopt to help ensure that the entrepreneurial mindset is embedded in all their co-ops. Things like providing a strong mentor like Nick had an introduction to business operations like Nick was exposed to. I believe that if we can embed all co-ops with that entrepreneurial mindset, that we can change students, we can change industry, and we can change the world. And that's what we're doing at Marquette, one co-op at a time, and so can you. Thank you.